hello my wonderful people welcome back to my channel my name is rita and i greet you according to your time you all know the story of this deborah samuel or everything that happened to her the way she left this world her story is no longer news in the her story is no longer news in nigeria in fact even worldwide so after her passing away her mother her parents her mother especially said she is not going to train her remaining seven children in school again because one she they used everything they had to train deborah in school and this and what happened to her happened to her and apart from that they they, they are even you understand now they are even scared of even sending their remaining children to school so because of what happened to deborah she said she is not going to train they are not going to train their remaining seven children in school again so this um, popular pastor of OPM, Apostle Chibuzo, you know, saw, saw that thing that uh, Deborah Mother said. He was touched by the Deborah Mother's statement. When he saw it, it a speech, he was so touched. So he said that people should search for her. That people, anybody that can, if they can share the video, they should share the video that people should look for the family. That she's going to give them scholarship, give her children scholarship, and also move them out of Niger State to Portacourt, and also um, send the eldest, um, the eldest son to study abroad. So after he make that post, a lot of people went now sharing the video, and in the course of sharing the video and searching for the woman, they finally found the woman. Well, Apostle Chibuzo reached out to them, and thank God, luckily, the family agreed, you know, to leave uh, Niger State and move to Portacourt. They were so happy for what uh, Apostle Chibuzo did to them. And in fact, not just them alone, the old Nigerians, we are happy because this is what Christianity should be about. So this is what Apostle Chibuzo wrote. Good news, Apostle Chibuzo finally contacts the family of late Deborah Samuel and offers educational scholarship abroad to her immediate younger brother. Apostle Chibuzo Chinuri has been able to contact the family of the slain girl, Deborah Samuel of Shewu Shagari College of Education in Sokoto State. Deborah's parents agreed to relocate to Portacourt to begin a new life and in a video call, Apostle Chibuzo offered Deborah's immediate younger brother an educational scholarship abroad. He also promised to give Deborah other siblings automatic scholarship to university level. In addition, free housing, job for the father and a business for the mother was promised to the family of Deborah. Deborah's family, who was with their pastor, neighbors, and extended family members, were grateful and thanked Apostle Chibuzo immensely. In fact, and I'm just so happy with this good news I'm hearing. I'm just so happy. At least it will see, even though it cannot bring, even though no, no matter what they give to the family, it won't bring back you know, the Deborah somewhere back to, it won't bring her back to this world again, but at least, this one will, at least, it will alleviate part of their suffering. And I'm just so happy for this move that this pastor did, because, you know, you know how Nigerian, most, not all, how some Nigerian churches is, because most of them, they're always in the habit of extorting money from members. So this one is a good news, it's a good one, it's a good news. That we are hearing now how the pastor now have um, decided to change their the life of their family because the truth is that if they are seeing the not it will be difficult it will be very difficult they will be scared of sending their remaining children to school in the not because it's better they move out of there and live in a, a safer place that where fear of um, christian or muslim going to school will not be there so I'm so happy with this move made by the OPM pastor, Apostle Chibuzo. I'm so happy for them. I'm so happy for them. Even in a recent post that the uh, Deborah's father made, he said he is leaving everything to God that is not going to court. I'm also the vengeance is of the Lord. 
Well, we all know even if they go to court, or they don't go to court, or most of the cases that similar cases of what happened to Deborah, most people that it has happened to, even upon they go to some don't even some 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 of the cases self they not even get to court, and even the one that get to court, how many of them really get justice? So I just like what this Deborah father did, you know, coming out to say that he's leaving the matter to God, that let God fight for him. That is not going to go to court. He will leave it to God. Let God. I like that statement so much because hmm, we all know. I pray that this case will not be swept on under the carpet, too, like other ones. So I pray, but I just like the way he puts it. That he's leaving the matter to God. That let God. Uh, let he just leaving it to God. That he's not going to go to court. That let God fight for him. Well, and I'm also happy for this pastor coming out to give this family, on this to give this family render help to the father by giving the father a job, also assisting the woman, the wife, with a um, biz uh, money to start business, and also giving the children scholarship. I'm just so happy with this good news I'm hearing, and also that they will be giving them accommodation, free accommodation as well, and moving them out of a um, not. I'm just so happy. At least this will really alleviate some of the suffering. And, you know, it will really alleviate it. Anyway, guys, whatever your thought and opinion is, just leave it in the comment section. In case you are coming across my channel for the first time, please endeavor to share this video. Also, like and leave your thought and opinion in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. And see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.